Witnesses said the loud crashing noise could be heard 60 miles away, and falling, burning debris was spotted by at least three dozen people. County Comptroller Brazenberg said reports were overblown. He said the so-called sightings were merely a product of routine army tests and, quote, vivid imaginations, end quote. This is Anne McClanahan. And this is Hirsch Hirschfeld. Good night. <gasps> what was that? That was news. Let's go. As I approach the source of the scream, the putrid smell of mutilated flesh fills the air. Oh, God, that's awful. A man lies on the sidewalk, bleeding profusely from the chest. Oh. Sir, sir, Anne McClanahan, may we have a word? <coughs> I notice you have a large, gaping wound across your chest. What was it that caused that? Oh, oh that space monster. Oh, on his leg! <gasps> Hush, your leg! What? What's on my... Oh! So many teeth! Oh, get it off! It's, it's eating my leg! What you are hearing is history. First contact with these alien creatures from a distant galaxy. Oh, it's eating the other one! Help me! I, Anne McClanahan, see a yellowish creature no more than three feet tall. It resembles one of those water snake children's toys, only entirely covered in teeth, dripping ooze and bile. And it just ate my partner. There's another one, and another. How many are there? I should probably leave at this. Comptroller Brazenberg! Run! Run for your life! They'll consume us all! So you admit this was more than just an army test? Well, I admit nothing. It's speculations you suggest. <laughs> and it just chewed his face off. These toothy, water sting monsters, thousands of them, are emerging from what appears to be an upturned metallic grain silo covered with flashing blue. <gasps> they've... they've spotted me. They're circling me on all sides, slithering closer, leaving behind a trail of rancid goo. My heart pounds against my chest. I wipe a pool of sweat from my forehead and look at the sprawling horde of alien monsters drooling before me. And it dawns on me that we're not alone. Not anymore. This is Anne McClanahan, KJZ News, Radio 88 Live.